Hello, science fans. Mr. Walsh here with my trusty assistant, Floppy the Science Rabbit. Say hello to the students, Floppy. Hello to the students, Floppy. Is that really necessary? No, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, just say hi the normal way, please. Hi the normal way, please. Mm. Can't you just say the word hello? The word hello. Just say hi. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> so what's our video about today? Well, for once, it's not a science topic. Really? Really? It's about reading. You don't say. I do say. Today we'll be looking at a magical letter. No, seriously. There's a letter that can magically change one thing into another. I am skeptical. Okay, okay. It's not really magical, but if we use our imagination, it's like magic because it completely changes a word. Do tell. All you have to do is add this one letter and you will completely change one word into another. Does it work with any word? No, but it works with a bunch of words and it's really important to know because otherwise you'd be reading those words wrong. I see. It's a little tricky because this letter always shows up at the very end of the word, so you have to make sure your eyes travel all the way down to the end of the word before you say it. Is that so? Yep. Do you have any guesses about what letter it is? Maybe this letter from my cousin, Benny Bunny? No, not that kind of letter. The kind of letter you use to make words, you know, your ABCs. My ABCs? Yes, your ABCs. They're not my ABCs. I don't own them. <sighs> The ABCs. <laughs> the letter I'm talking about is called Silent E. Silent E? Yes. Sometimes when you see the letter E at the end of a word, it's silent. What does silent mean? It means no sound. Silent E is silent. You don't say it. So you see it, but you don't say it. Exactly. I'm not really sure I get it. That's okay. It's a little tricky. Watch this. Take the word Sam. It's a name. How do you spell it? S-A-M. Very good. But watch this. If we add the letter E to the end of Sam, it changes the word. What does it say now? Sammy. <laughs> Very funny. Sammy would be spelled like this. S-A-M-M-Y. Sammy. What we're doing is adding a silent E to the word Sam. Sam. So, if you don't say it, why is it there? Because it tells you how to pronounce the word. Huh? It means how to read it the right way. A silent E tells you to read the word with a long vowel sound. Short vowel sounds are a, e, i, a, u, like van, pet, fin, dot, and dud. A, van, e, pet, i, fin, dot, a, dud, u. Long vowel sounds are different. Long vowel sounds are A, E, I, O, U. Like vein, peat, fine, dote, and dude. A, vein, E, peat, I, fine, O, dote, U, dude. So with this word, Ah becomes A when you add the silent E. 
Sam becomes same. Right. Great job, Floppy. Give me five. So what's this about being magical? Okay, well, if you use your imagination, you can have a lot of fun with this. Let's pretend I'm a wizard and I can magically change one thing into another. How? By using my magic wand to add a silent E. Hmm, sounds fun. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. You'll say a word with a short vowel sound and I'll use my magic wand to add a silent E and change it into another word. Okay, ready? everything. Hi, I'm Cody, Mr. Walsh's cat. I thought before we do this, I'd better show you some of the words you're going to see in case you don't know them. A cane is a stick used to help people walk. Cod is a type of fish. Cub is a baby bear. Code means the instructions that make computers and websites and things like that work. Cube is a 3D square. Dim means kind of dark, but not completely dark, just not enough light. Fade means to slowly disappear. Fur is a kind of tree often used as a holiday tree. Fad, something that's really popular for a short time before being mostly forgotten. Gal, a girl or a young lady. Gap means a space between two things. Gale is a very strong wind. Gape means to look surprised with your mouth and eyes wide open. Huge, really big. Mane is the thick fur around a male lion's neck and head. Mope, just sitting around feeling really sad. Pal is a friend. Pane is a piece of glass used in making a window. Pale means whitish or lighter colored than usual. Pine a type of tree with needles instead of leaves. Rag is an old piece of cloth used for cleaning. Sir, a polite way to address a man. Hello, sir. Rage, extreme anger. Sire, a respectful thing to call a king. Thank you, sire. Okay, ready now. Ready, go. Can. Cane. Hmm? Cub. Cube. Dim. Dime. Oh, money. Gal. Gil. Cod. Code. Gap. Gape. Whoa! Cut. Cute. Aww. Fad. Fade. Bye bye. Hug. Huge. <coughs> Pal. Pale. You don't look so good, bro. Fur. Fire. Mop. Mope. <sighs> Man. Mean. Uh. Pin. Pine. Rob. Robe. Huh? Tap. Tape. Tim. Hi, I'm Tim. Time. Hat. Hate. I hate this hat. Pan. Pain. Wow, that's really a pain. Rag. Rage. Hulk smash. Cap. Cape. Hmm? Sir. Hello, sir. Sire. All hail King Robert. You may rise. I wasn't kneeling. How dare you? Well, that was fun. I'm glad you liked it. 
So, uh, what did Benny Bunny have to say to you in his letter anyway? Hey, you know, I never read it. Okay, let's find out. Hi, Floppy. Please send carrots. Love, Benny.